our very last actually TBU battle of this season. And uh, in all honesty, uh, things are going to get really, really exciting. Uh, we're going against Poker Trip, of course, and um, to be completely honest, he's a very, very good battler. And uh, last time we battled, we had a rough time, or I had a rough time. So I hope I can stand tall this game, but in all honesty, you know, I'm fine either way here. And also to the people who have been joining up for the TBU chat and while that stream is going on, thank you so much for doing so. Thank you for supporting Scandinavian Stoutlands, and uh, I hope this turns out to be a great game. Um, basically waiting him out here. Um, I got everything ready. Uh, we brought Thunderous, Alexam, Heracross, Landrus. Um, what more? Um... Yeah, I, I I was so smooth until there. <laughs> Let's see, what was it more? Um, we had uh, uh, Drapion, and I have one more mon for this battle. And um, you know, obviously, once the spell goes off, I'll, I'll see them. But uh, I can go over them briefly until he actually responds for the battle. Uh, and of course, Gengar. There we go. Uh, we have a, a life orb, uh, thunderous with uh, thunderbolt slash wave to hit everything neutrally. Uh, Thunder Wave for his potential uh, uh, Dragonite, and we have Superpower for his uh, potential Snorlax. Uh, the fighting move is definitely a filler. Uh, we had Focus Blast last time, and it didn't turn too well for me. And uh, my share is awful today. Uh, <clears throat> After that, we have Gengar with Life for uh, same set, um, able to two hit kill most things, and have access to Taunt. Heracross with Pataya Berry for Florius. Pataya Berry is a base 100 poison move with natural gift. So that's something I really, really hope to be able to use this battle. A combination of close combat and uh, natural gift should be enough to take Florius out if I use it, which I feel is quite likely. Uh, then we have Landers, um, Adamant, pretty hit harding uh, with Joshua Berry, can survive the Ice Punch and Fake Out combo, which is important. Uh, Drapion with Sugarberry this time, and actually it's a jolly set, more aggressively built, and uh, hopefully it will show to be useful this game. Uh, the best part about this set is that um, it can um, outspeed an Adamant Medishap, which I feel it can be important, depending on if it's Adamant or not. If it's Adamant, then obviously I found it out. Uh, I'm much better off with a jolly set than an Adamant set. But I'm feeling it's going to go adamant, and if so, then I can actually do a 50% hit with Drapion, which I feel is incredibly important. And then we have Alakazam, which is uh, a mod I didn't have last time, which is a mod that could be uh, very game-changing. Uh, so yeah, he actually asked for the battle. Here we go. Things are going down. <laughs> like I said, I'm really nervous. Um, I actually posted it, asked me if I was ready. I was born ready. And also using a new mic. I really hope it works out. I haven't tested it too much. Um, but yeah, let's just get to it. I hear some blowing while I'm doing it, so that, you know that's gonna be annoying. Anyway, music! Alright, this is gonna be tough. So we're gonna take a picture of the team and we're gonna basically find out how we should approach this game. Properly, um, of course. Still waiting for him. Now everybody, of course, who've been joining here has had a great, you know, season just following us too, and everybody in TV, honestly. I mean, we both we had a blast doing this. And I'm definitely coming out back for season three, and um, it's something I'm feeling really, really strong about. You know, we're definitely gonna come back. Whether I'll come back a champ or not is up to Trip right now. All right. So it brings pretty close to the team. I thought it kind of would. Um, all females actually. Interesting. Let's see. Medisham, sis. Take a picture of the team and then I actually set them up here on text. Basically, so I scout out their potential move sets. All females, very interesting. 
Um, so it brings a lot of mons here that are... That I didn't use last time. So he's going to play it more aggressively this time. Which I feel is okay. Um, so no floor just this time. Which makes my berry kind of in vain with Alpha Max. choice all right and also to poke trip good luck have fun can't believe this is the second week in a row that my hero cross is just uh, shoved aside basically um, though I can still get some good damage I guess on something <laughs> most likely not all right we still got rock tube which could be interesting wow I was so pumped about that set too So I'm gonna start off with Befelgor. Let's see what he decides to go for. Could start with Raichu, I assume. Jade. Right, so Dragonite. potentially have ice cream. I think so. I'm not gonna risk it. Outbreak. Right, let's see. That's banned, definitely banded. So I'm gonna go for Rock Tomb. Um, I think that's the best I can do. So that's rather unfortunate. He gets a good lead on me. See what else we can do. Now we know he's abandoned, though. So we can get our rocks up. I wonder how much it does this time. Ooh, it does way too much. It does way too much. Does way too much. So right, would you connect? Let's see if this takes it out. Ah, oh, it's so close. It's so close. Ah, oh, it's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. All right.
So right, we'll take that thing out of the way. Now that did way too much damage on us. Way to go, way to go, Trip. Bolivia. Right, that's the right too. Let's see what it is. Go for knockoff, hoping he goes for a bolt switch. tackle right that did a lot that did a lot let's see a knockoff should kill it but we are wheeled down we are wheeled down people choice cough right good thing that wasn't banded so we're two for two but I am definitely behind So Lily is Arcanine. Gonna set up my spikes here. Alright, he's faster. Or with speed time basically, if it isn't Scoff 2. So no toxic spikes then. is thunderous. I mean, that's my strongest attack I have. I have to do it. Tonight, that Dragonite really, really broke through. What, what a way to start! <sighs> so, right, he's scarfed actually. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So, let's see. Thunderbolt will take that out. So, that's good. That's the Medicham. Let's see if he gets me or not. Go to Gengar. Really hoping he hasn't does, doesn't go for a send headbutt here or Psycho Cat or whatever. I don't know how obvious I am. 
All right, and this is gonna sting. Gonna go for a sludge wave. So he's gonna withdraw. Most likely to Snorlax. Taylor Swift. Yeah. We're back to this one then. Not gonna land important moves that we need. Of course we're not. So right, let's see how much his superpower does. He lived it, didn't he? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh dear god. This is this is beyond me. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Very interesting game though. Very glad to see uh, <laughs> to see Trip play aggressively, I really like that. But I have no idea. I'm pretty sure he won, actually. I mean, here comes a bullet punch, I mean, that's gonna press us down a lot. Scarfed bug bites. Dear Lord, dear Lord. GG. Trip. Good job, buddy. Good job. You definitely deserve this game. Three scarfers. Three scarfers. You know, I can't really be mad about that. Good job on you. Oh, wow. I mean, what do you say after something like that? Like, my afterthoughts, of course, are that Trip did pull all the stops. Like, three scarfers, one bandage. I mean, that's. That's pretty darn ballsy, so you have to have some kind of idea what you want to create. And I think he obviously had that. There is no reason for me to send anything else than he was the worthy winner. Uh, I tried to look back at this game, you know, trying to figure out what I should have done. And the only thing I think I misplayed, you know, that was probably what I could have changed, was actually the first turn, where I don't U-turn on the Dragonite. I actually go for... Um, and I'm feeling kind of dumb, but I actually go for a uh, uh, switch out hardly to Heracross. Basically, because I knew I was not... Um, I knew I couldn't outspeed a Jolly set or a Timid set. And uh, somewhere down the line, I thought, yeah, I don't want to break my Yasha Bear just yet. And he could go for maybe, I guess, a Dragon Dance here, but I would not have ridden out uh, Heracross, which could have, of course, forced of a Rock Tomb and outspeed it next turn. Uh, that was my thought process, but I did not foresee a choice bandit hit. And I was foreseeing that he wanted the Landorus matchup from the get-go, which I thought was to some extent fair. 
And that's why I predicted something like ice beam or anything like that. So I was hoping to kind of work around that. Had I U-turned, I would have broke the marble scale, which of course would have meant Roxton would have done a lot more to it, which also would have meant that Agasank was the safer option instead of um, bringing Landers in again. Uh, I mean, I lose Landers in this process, and I think that's terrible uh, because Landers could still have kept up, you know, definitely forcing down his more offensive mons, and I think that's really scary that I don't do that. Um, and that's probably my only real misplay. I mean, I missed an opportunity to soften the blow, but I don't think that would have helped overall uh, in the long go. I really don't. One thing that kind of hit me after this game or, uh, was that, you know, he obviously, due to him having two priority attacker, both being steel base, uh, Medicham and the Scissor, uh, both have access to Bullet Punch, I couldn't use my Mega Dienshi. Mega Dienshi has always been the mod that forced my opponent back a bit, and we're not being able to use that or playing that aggressive. It kind of makes Trip's team kind of good against me offensively, if you pull the right stuff, which he obviously did. Uh, but he did, yet again, not really design too well against a potential uh, Volcarona. And the way he was playing had me thinking afterwards that, shit, I missed out on a golden opportunity to... Uh, Having a more defensive old Corona, which was my thought process, instead of Alaga Sam, basically, to sweep late game. Which would have worked out <laughs> in this battle, actually. Um, uh, we, don't, we don't know if the sister has natural gift or anything like that, they could have worked around that. But that was just a thought that hit me, that Volcarona, being of defensive nature, would have done a lot more work this, in this game. And it's kind of unfortunate that I don't... I don't go for that. Um, I was thinking that, you know, I'm able to speed like a Sam, like a Sam can sweep late game uh, much more safely. And while that holds true, uh, who could have foreseen <laughs> all the Scarfers? It's like afterwards now, I'm like, yeah, you know, I got nothing here, have I? Uh, I think, like I said, Trip plays a very nice game. And. Um, he is the worthy winner. He's definitely the worthy champ of this season too. But I did promise you guys to make it finals, and I think we did that just right. So this is actually our second finals in our second league. So as for right now, our scoreboard is that we're making finals. We are one of the better battlers in the leagues, so which is incredible. And I think that's the most important part to take from this. Um, shit will happen. Um, this time I did lose to a person that I think made all the right calls and for that very reason alone i think it is very very deserving of this game and we're worthy champion of this league of course uh but yeah that's really all my thoughts um nothing big to it i mean four minutes of basically me rambling but the, the other one would have been four minutes of me crying <laughs> i actually them the video cut out sadly so i couldn't really leave it was like a half ass after comments i felt i wanted to really just sit down and uh, talk about this a little bit. But yeah, we're all, we have one more TBU video. It's going to come up on Friday next week. And that's going to be actually our last thoughts about everything, of all this. The season has to go, and of course, our Pokemon has to stand, you know, all those things. I really want to um, talk about them, and I really want to... Um, to end this season on a high note, I mean, we did make finals, and I'm not salty at all. I think it, it's great that TBU is finally over. And I said, I did say the TBU. It's called the Battle Union, so we call it the, the, the Battle Union. But, <laughs> but really, I'm just glad it's over. It's been such a long season, and I mean, we're doing this for, I do believe, since November. So we are like five months back. Uh, that is how far this went, and uh, I mean, what else can I say? It's been a great time with everybody, and like I said, I'm so glad it's over, and it's mostly because now, you know, I can finally relax, no team planning, no nothing, I mean, the team, the, the guys are done, and, <laughs> and I can finally just get back to just do what I, my usual shit, which isn't so much competitive. <laughs> So, everybody in TBU, also, of course, thank you so much, and I'll make, a, like I said, an ending video to kind of wrap the season up. And the Poker Trip, good job, buddy. You definitely deserve this win. I think that's the fourth time I'm saying that. Uh, but I had a blast battling you. I really did. Uh, so, everybody who's been watching, thank you so much for doing this show. Show. So, 
And of course, check out Poker Trip channel. You must watch this guy. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.